everybody what's up we're gonna play some rank today it's against John Mario okay starting hand is fine I don't know bombard or machine what do I sack I'll sack the machine because I don't have any can metas and storm runners in my hand anyways so um state of ranked for me I am like seventh but I'm only like 50 points out of uh, out of uh, second so not too worried nice so now I think I'll sacrifice the elder He's decay I haven't seen much decay lately so I have been losing a lot in ranked um so I've been switching around decks a lot and right now I'm playing Blinkies uh, mono energy range deck I like tried canters I tried like Blinkies I was trying to do my own I keep on losing but so far this deck seems to work pretty well Now, a sack of bombard. Put you behind and put a storm runner. Storm runners are really good against the guy. Storm runners are good against everything, actually. Specifically, EDK, though. So now, it sucks that I have to sack a burn, I think. Or I could sack a storm runner, but then I'd risk not being able to play anything this turn. So, I'll sack that. I'll put a storm runner down here. Some more coverage. And, do I damage him so I can kill this him, him next turn with this guy? Or no, I think I have to just draw the structure. It's probably a better idea. Okay, so now I hope. What's he gonna do? He's at, yeah, he already sacked for resources. Alright, well, my hunts are not too bad. And he doesn't put them next to each other because he doesn't want the extra damage on them. Which is smart. Now. I think I just... Well, I want to hit him, so I'll be back. Now, I think I'll sack the cannon. I guess it's K. I mean, he could get damage first. Not a huge deal in sacking that. And now I will... Now... Two damage isn't gonna kill either Storm Runner, but I think I want to get the State Machine in front. I'm not gonna, but I can. I think a State Machine early on is gonna be really good, and I'll be able to draw another one next turn if this thing can attack an idol. And two State Machines out is really good, especially versus Growth. But against the K, it's not too bad either. And now, put you there. Move you down, and I'll. I'm not going to move him up because I'd rather just not take any damage from this in case he has like a return to nature or something. Alright. So now I could burn this next turn if it, the Storm Runner can't reach it, which I probably won't be able to reach it. Or I could go with the Kenneta. But now anything he comes out will take one damage. So that means a curse monger would be burnable, which is nice. And he has a hard time getting rid of the structures, so this thing probably isn't gonna go down. Unless he attacks it with the hunter. Which actually probably will go down then. Okay. Bloodline taint. It's kinda of annoying and now probably he's gonna go with like a uh, Infectious Blight next turn. Now, this is a tough sack. I don't know if I want to sack the Machinated or the Cannonetta. I 
think I'm going to sacrifice the... I think I'm just going to burn. Burn the Trison. Actually, I'm going to sack the Kinetic for cards. And we got nothing, but I can't even Iron Whip because I'll take damage. So I'll just burn. Because you couldn't reach him anyways. And I'll deal damage to that idol. I'm going to move you up so you can reach. Move you there. Move you in a central location. Hopefully it doesn't have like Mire Curses and stuff because that would be annoying. I suspect a Infectious Blight this turn. Now I... I now he's probably going to destroy this state machine. At least have another one to put out. But I'd really like to, to be out at the same time. But I don't think we're going to be able to get that until we draw one actually. So not too bad. I think we have a firm handle on the board right now. But an infectious blight going around could be annoying. I could get rid of it with an iron whip and stuff. Oh, baleful witch. Okay. So. That's actually worse than a infectious, bl infectious blight probably. Now. Hmm. Could machinate and kill that. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and kill this. And play a hmm. I'll sacrifice the state machine now. Play an elder. You know what I should have done? Maybe I should have. Nah, I'll just find. I'll keep you here so you can be machinated next turn and kill the hunter. Hopefully, it doesn't have like something that can kill my storm runner this turn, which is very possible. Alright, well that does the trick. And a harvester, got it. Now, what to do, what to do. Power trip. Mm. Power trip this turn, maybe? Yeah, I think that's what I should do. So I'll go... Power trip, and now... I'm not gonna double power trip, because I think I want to... Uh, do this. And now you can take... Control of all that. Very nice. I'm gonna have another power trip in hand so I can make another nice play, but I'd like to get some bombards to play with like with that. Okay, Demon Curse. And I think that's all. Hopefully I can draw like a creature or something now. Or he. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe he's. Alright, he plays the tribesman. And now, sudden eruption is nice. But I'm gonna sacrifice it. Because I like what I have in my hand. And. Two power chests, but we can't do anything. I'm not gonna lie, it's it's very annoying. I'm gonna move up though. I could go for like two power trips and hope I get like a bombard and stuff. 
or not a bombard, a uh, some creatures, but I think I want to save the paratroops. Okay, now it's you. Now, um, I want to save both paratroops. Actually, I'm gonna play one of the paratroops now. Elder. I could go with Thunder Surge. Burns. Kill the Witch Doctor. I'd rather get like a Bombard though. Hmm. These draws are not that good. Alright, you know what? I think. I guess I'll just do this. Not sure if I had a better play. I can use all my power trips to do that. I don't really like that play that much. Didn't get the right. I'm not getting creatures I need. Which is very annoying. Soul Steel. That's going to be a problem. Even mouse play wasn't that good. I probably should have just. Even if I sack for scrolls, I wouldn't even have a, have a play though. Now I have no more power trips. Darn. I guess I'll just go cannon automaton. Sudden eruption, but without power trip, it's not a key great thing. Linguid, okay. And another languid. So now he basically gets to disable that guy for nothing because of a card draw. And a loyal darkling. So now I clear his board with a uh, sudden eruption this turn. I guess we could do that if we want. I guess I should before he gets like harvesters out and witch doctors. All right, so now we don't have to worry about that right now. Another sudden eruption is really nice. Now, what do I want to sacrifice? I'll get rid of the whip. Now, I guess Ekomaton and Smuggler. You'll be a nice big wall. I'll put damage on you so you die to so sudden eruption and stuff. Put the Ekomaton in the middle and the Smuggler in the back. Nice. Okay. We seem to have gotten the board control back. All right, and we have a Thea for next turn, which will just probably get Damage Curse, but I mean, I guess he still has to use a Damage Curse to Damage Curse. Witch Doctor, got it. Now, Bombard is a nice card. Go to the Thunder Surge. I'm gonna sacrifice the Psalm Giant. And I'll play the Thea, that's it. That's all I will do. Plays a spell, that'd be cool. Because then I'll get the extra energy. And. Sudden Eruption and Thunder Surge are in my hand, which can be very useful. If he makes positioning mistakes, I could always do a Thunder Surge, and generally I could just use a Sudden, er sudden Eruption. So let's see what he does. He has seven cards and seven resources, which makes me kind of scared. 
bloodline taint on the automatons to spell at least I get energy when that thing dies now I don't mind that bloodline taint that much I mean fine the cannon will now take three damage instead of one damage okay so now the cannon automaton dies but it only had one attack so I don't think that's a huge deal okay um Hmm. Well, I think I want to bounce dorsal this this turn. What do I want to sack? I don't think I need to like, bombard right now. Should probably keep imaginated. So I will. You know, I'm actually gonna sacrifice the thunder surge. Maybe I shouldn't, but oh well. And nice, we got a hired smuggler as well. And I'm not gonna kill this. I maybe I should because it's right now not right now it's not a uh, does there's no witch doctor with it and there's no harvest run field or rod here to be buffed from it so you know what I think I will kill it and he disconnected so I'm not sure if he just really disconnected that'd be fine and I'm gonna put you in front because I want or you came back okay yeah so I will get rid of that I know he gets more cards but Hopefully I can get the state machine down this next turn now. Maybe top tech another state machine, that'd be nice. Bloodline taint. Now that thing has five attack. So, but I assume he's gonna put down a a uh, Baleful Witch now to kill both of the smugglers. Which, okay. He doesn't, which I think is a mistake. He got the harvester down first, which probably was not the best idea because now I can bombard with something. Now, what do I sacrifice? Tough call on what to sacrifice here. I'm gonna keep the mash just in case I don't draw a creature to bombard with because then I have to use machinated on the smuggler to kill the harvester. This isn't ranged, so that's annoying. Um, I want to keep both of those. I want to keep the state machine. I'll sacrifice the sudden eruption. Or the Thea. I already have a Thea on the field. It's not like I can play another. And good, we got a Storm Runner. So. I guess we do this. And then a bombard. So now it's two. I'll just I could machinate him so I can draw it, but I I need I think two state machines is enough, so I will go ahead and I want to take down middle idol. And move you up and move you back. Alright, looks good. And now, a big part of that bombard is now I have two state machines I can play next turn. And he has a lot of cards and resources now, so it's nice to get those state machines down. Because even though he might be ahead in resources and cards, I can really stop him. I can halt him in his uh, tracks. So I assume he has a Baleful Witch. Because of because I think he was trying to go harvester and then the Baleful Witch, but it's being a little bit greedy trying to get the harvester's countdown to go down. But since he did that, I was able to bombard. So now, oh no, sack for resources. My Baleful Witch, as expected. And another Baleful Witch, maybe? I don't know. Another Baleful Witch, okay. So it kills my Ekamonton. I don't like that, but... And then that. Wow, okay. Well, that was a nice play. Um, luckily, we have a sudden eruption right now. A 
let's see. Sudden eruption would need to have. Hmm. I'm gonna sacrifice these uh the cannon. Okay, cool. Sudden eruption needs to have seven resources. And if I do that, then I'll have six, so I'll just play Dust Runner. And now sudden eruption. The reason I wanna kill I wanna continue to kill all of his guys because it lets him necrogeddon and or possibly get witch doctors, harvesters, and rod eaters down. I don't want them getting buffed, so I'd rather kill them when he has nothing on the field. So we both have nine resources, and I have more cards than I have war control, and I have more idle damage down. So I think we uh, are well off here. And when I, when I see a Languid on the Storm Runner, I think, okay, he is Languid on the Storm Runner, but I have a Machinated in hand, so I think we're fine. It's just an Oblivion Seeker. I don't think we're going to be putting on Machinator for that. Maybe we would Machinate that, but I don't think so. I think the priority right now would be to get down both state machines and a, and a sec. I don't think I need Necromaton. Rather have the Canetus for the piercing. So I'll sack that. Okay, so now I'm gonna put down two state machines up top. So now that's gonna be a pain for him to deal with. And then a Canonetta right here. And next turn I could go bombard with a machinated and a dust runner and all sorts of fun stuff. So I think we're good. And that's if he even plays stuff this turn. Because I have two state machines out, so he might not want to play anything. There's not much he could do to take out those state machines. He might have to just wait it out. Okay, well at least that dies because of the state machine. So I guess that's an okay trade because I used one resource to play that and he used three to play that. Okay, and that's going to have three health. Fine. Now, let's see. I think we just want to continue to fill up our board now. So I'll sack the dust runner for cards. I guess burn on this guy's gonna be good, but probably next turn I think I wanna do that. Um Or should I burn the guy that's attacking? I don't know, tough choice. Nah, I think I'll take the attack. If he has a return to nature, so be it. Never mind, I'll just burn him. Okay, and now I will just play a Cannonetta. And I'll stay there. Maybe I should have burned him up there, but the Bloving Seek was attacking next turn. I know he gets cards, but what are cards really going to do him right now? Do, do for him right now. He has, there's two state machines here, so whatever he does, won't be able to do that much. Even if he like, clears my board somehow, I would still be able to destroy him. Yeah. So I assume he's holding off because of those uh, state machines. Now I guess I'm just gonna go with the old sack the thunder surge. I guess I want to get rid of that, so I'll just machinate you now. Um, I'll keep you there. Move you. And now I'll go with a storm runner and a 
third cannonetta. I like him in front. And we have a smuggler as well, so... We might be able to start redrawing those state machines when they're destroyed. State machines are really cool. They weren't that good, like, before Rebellion, but now that... After Rebellion's out, they, they seem to be very big cards in this current meta. They work really well. I like them a lot. And now, it's definitely a lot of options here. A lot of cards, but it's possible that none of those options are very good. I mean, yeah, damage is probably his best option. And then he's just going to take the two damage on you. Okay. And we should be able to win soon as we will embark. Um, let's see. I will play... I'm gonna just sacrifice a bounce dispersal and play Thea Smuggler. I, I don't care about the cards, I'm just gonna keep letting him draw cards. Um, I want to engage you up here. I'll continue to have a lot of presence over here. So you down here and Thea right there. I should have to up here. So both of my uh, statements can go down next turn. But now I have a hired smuggler to maybe try to get him back. So daddy's going to play anything this turn because I have two statements out and they're about to go away. But if he doesn't, I might be able to win with a bombard. I probably positioned that kind of badly. Because now it's hard to win with a bombard. But I can get a machinated or something and it should be much easier to win. Okay, languid. And also, these things are gonna blow up when it's my turn, so he has to know that because he might put stuff up here thinking I can't move up there. Well, now it doesn't really make a huge difference. Okay. So he damning curses. And I will. Be nice to draw the Solid Giants again. Hurry this game up. I think we have the game, but it's taking a little bit while. All right. So now, it's out of resources. My turn. Now, two bombards is really cool. I will start off. I don't know what I do. Want to do? Second bomb dispersal. Probably shouldn't, but I want to keep the power trip. And two power trips. Okay, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to hold my ground. I'm going to move you up, too. I could bombard and it wouldn't be that bad because I would just get the card a card back with the state machine I'm going to draw, but I think in the long run it's going to be just better to hold them to those bombards when I actually need it to make sure I can win this game. Two power chips, so I can have an amazing play. As soon as I start getting some machinateds, this will be over. All the languids, too much languid for me. Well, this is his chance to fill up the board, but he has 10 resources. He could fill up the board a lot here. Probably should have kept that, uh, about dispersal, maybe. Attack like one of the bombards, I don't know. Because in case it was like Witch Doctor right now. Okay, Bloodline Taint, and now, what, double, uh, Brainless. Okay, I was afraid of the double, double whatever it was called. Okay, that's annoying because now I'm not going to draw the structures anymore. But, okay, there's a mash needed. Now. I'm just going to power trip. Thea. I'm going to power trip again. Stormrunner. Now. That's 11. I could do that. I could do. I don't need the machinated. 
Okay. So, but I'll should I keep the mash? I'll keep the machinated anyways. I'll sack. Actually, I'm gonna sacrifice the machinated. I think it's gonna be important to keep all of this stuff. I don't think I could win this turn. And double elder is awesome. Also, I could go double elder bombard. But I think Thea bombard's just better. Well, first I want to put you here. You up, so now you touch him. Now I have to put you there. So that you finish it off. Now I can go Elder, Elder, Bombard. Alright? That'll go 4, 4. Or should I go Thea, Bombard? I'll go Elder, Elder, Bombard. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have put that Elder there. I wasted some... I wasted uh, four damage on the bottom idol. I could have, I could have put this elder down there, because the storm, the that thing was gonna die already from the storm runner. Little mistake there, but I think we're out ahead enough that that mistake won't come to haunt, come to haunt us. Okay. And now we're nearing the end of the game. We have two big elders out. I have a Gothia. Bombard next turn because it's a sack for resources. And now we have 10 resources, so we may be able to do some nice solid giant plays. I don't know. Okay. So it should be game now. And now it's not game, I don't think. Yeah, okay. It's not game yet. Or is it? Thea Bombard would be... I would have to put Thea in front, but I can make you attack first. No, I can't do that. The positioning is kind of off here. Thea Bombard wouldn't be that good. Would it? Hmm. You would hit that, and then Thea could finish it off. Or no, I would have to put Thea in front here to get them all to attack, and that wouldn't really do much. So I'm not gonna Thea bombard this turn. Keep Thea though, and I am going to. No, oh, I'll give him more cards. I'll burn. And now I will sudden eruption. Just so they're a little weaker. And I'm going to get you out of the way. And go like that. Okay. So now, let's see. What can he do? He's all the, all these cards and all these resources. Witch Doctor, Curse Monger. Okay. I think I'll just go Violent Dispersal. Power Trip is cool too. Can I go Cannon Thea Bombard with Power Trip? No, I can't. I'm just going to. I'm gonna Power Trip though. State Machine. The yeah, bombard does some stuff, but I think it's found dispersal just gonna be better. And then I'll play a cannon as well. I could almost win. Cannon can go right in front over here. Around 25, these 
these energy games tend to last a long time because it takes a while to actually win. It's a lot, a lot of just like clearing boards and stuff. Okay. So now, come on. Let's see if he's able to protect his idols enough. He's gonna have to protect the bottom idol and both top idols because I have the open bard ready to go. Okay, bottom idol is now protected. All right, GG. Oh no. All right. Well, uh, let's see. I think. Okay, as long as he doesn't play anything on top of there. Double double, which is annoying, and I don't think he could. All right, GG. So now, some giant could be cool, but. So now I think I'm gonna go like this. GG. So now how many points do we gain? Five. Yippee. Alright, over 1900 again. So I can continue my pursuit back to first place, and I'll see you all next time. So keep on scrolling, everybody.